Xbox really taking an aggressive approach in lieu of the release of the Xbox Series X. What is it that they're doing and will it work? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about it. Let's get right to it. This article right here is coming to you via GameSpot.com. It's titled, with Xbox Series X on the way, Microsoft launches Xbox 2020 monthly events. All right. Introducing Xbox 2020, Microsoft's monthly showcase of Xbox Series X, Game Pass, and more. With E3 2020 canceled, Xbox is shifting some of its plans to create digital events to showcase the Xbox Series X, its games, and more in the lead up to the release of this holiday season. That includes a new Nintendo Direct style video series called Xbox 2020. These events will happen each month for the rest of 2020, beginning with May 7th inside Xbox Stream that will focus on third party Xbox Series X games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Each installment of Xbox 2020 will be different, focusing on things like Xbox Series X, Xbox Game Studios, Xbox Game Pass, xCloud, and more. They won't each be inside Xbox inside Xbox events either. With E3 canceled, its plans for the June editions are as of yet unconfirmed. So, I say wow. I mean, to me that's a bold and uh, a, a bold approach to laying out the foundation of your, your console. You know what I mean? Um, and I get it. They're doing this because there is no E3 um, and they're going to do these digital events, but the fact that you're breaking these up over several showcases says to me that you think that you have a enough information and B a presentation style that will be long lasting enough to garner the attention of not only your fan base, let, 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 let's look past them because that's not who Xbox really needs to, to, to market the stores because they got them, right? But the people outside of your fan base, you really feel like that you can penetrate and reach these people by doing several showcases. You think you got enough juice there to break this thing up and parse it out, to ration it out. To me, that's bold. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, if they can hit home with these events, then man, that this is you know this this will be a a, a, a big turnaround for Xbox and in, in, in its um, efforts towards mindshare. If they can make each of these individual showcases have impact and reach, that, that that'll do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Now, in regards to the June show that was mentioned in this article, all right. I also find that interesting because there's been a set of rumors that have been spreading around the intraweb. And I don't, I don't, I normally don't talk about rumors. You know what I'm saying? That's like too unsubstantiated um, in this realm. I don't normally do this. But I think this is interesting because it relates to something I've been saying for over a year. So look, what are these rumors? All right, so big ups to John Scar, four scars underscore gaming on Twitter. He released this and he says the latest Xbox Series X rumors. Remember to take these with a grain of salt. Interesting nonetheless. And they're talking about be nice here if I can show you the tweet. Let me go back and show y'all the tweet from the homie John Scar. Here they go. Here it goes. All right. Give him his give him his just due. And he talks about the games that are likely coming to the system um, per this rumor. And apparently it's from someone that left XGS or Xbox Gaming Studios Publishing due to a bad relationship, blah, 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 blah. So here are the games coming. World's Edge uh age of empires the world's Edge is working on age of empires double fine is working on psychonauts 2 and banjo reboot um the initiative is working on a perfect dark game 
and the coalition is going to be working on a multiplayer of that according to this rumor in exile is working on an rpg that isn't bards tell nor medieval setting it's supposed to be a triple a game ninja theory is working on hellblade 2 and project mara um hellblade 2 is scheduled for june 2022 project mara will won't likely drop on an event the game is set to release in 2021 or 2022 obsidian is working on outer worlds 2 which is a new triple a ip out of i wouldn't consider outer worlds triple a it's definitely not triple a. now maybe with the war chest of microsoft they will make it triple a That'll be yet to be seen, but the first one is definitely not a triple A game. Um, and then let's see what else we got here. Playground is, has two projects, Forza Horizon and Fable. Rare is working on Everwild, we, we know about that. And Turn 10 is working on Forza Motorsport 8. All right, so here's why that's important. Because I said about a year ago, where people were like, well, MM2K, you seem to completely have abandoned Xbox. You're disappointed with them. Um, you know what I'm saying? And what is it that you feel like they need to do in order to regain mind share? And I said that the Xbox is in such a hole, I feel, that in order for them to even start the discussion of them turning things around and that it being a competition like the 360 era, which Xbox solely wants, really, in order for them to talk about even as 2 billion gamers, they gotta solidify themselves on the hardware front because that's where they're really at right now. The, the cloud stuff is just, it's just a pipe dream, you know what I'm saying? In order for them to compete like the 360 era, this is what they need. They needed six AAA games in total. And I, I, what I call this is the 623, all right? It's, they need six games and they need uh, two games to be in three different categories. And these categories can overlap. So again, they need six new AAA games in total showcased prior to launch. Two of these games need to be coming to the platform within the first two years. Two need to be exclusive to the Xbox Series slash PC. And two need to be two new IP. All right. That's how much of a hole it appears that they're in that I think is if they reach that, that mark, it's fathomable for them to get out of that. But let's take, but per this rumor, they might be there. So... I don't care. Age of Empires, no. No. We're talking about Xbox. So I don't consider Age of Empires. Double, Double Fine is working on, no. But Perfect Dark is one game, right? And Exiles Triple uh, RPG is another game. I think it's fair to say that Hellblade 2 will be Triple A. I think that we've heard rumors. I don't know much about the Project Mars, so we'll leave that on the periphery right now. So we got three right there. Let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that Outer Worlds 2 will be AAA. That's four. All right. Then we got Forza Horizon, but I don't, I don't want to put I don't want to put no niche racer in there. I don't want to put no niche racer. I'm talking about like you know action games. So I'm not gonna consider I'm not gonna consider Forza Horizon, but we got um, Fable. That's five, right? And then. We got Halo Infinite, so that's six. So they meet the six games plateau. Two need to be coming to the platform within the first two years. Well, we know we got Halo, right? Now, um, one of these other games could be coming. It says uh, Outer Worlds could be coming 2021, so they meet that plateau. Two need to be exclusive to the Xbox Series PC family. Well, we know after 2021, Games are going to be exclusive. That's we're going. We're giving them the benefit of the doubt. So um, we know at least uh, what do you call that game? The the perfect dark game is going to be exclusive to the to, to the newer ecosystem, and we know Hellblade is going to be exclusive. So they meet that plateau, and two need to be new IP. We got NXL with the AAA RPG. The rest are older IP, but you know, who knows? They could have a second or third party deal coming out of the woodwork 
that can meet that criteria as well. So it looks like to me, even though this rumor doesn't have a lot of big surprises, it sounds like to me that even if this is true, that Xbox is really set in a good place going into next gen, as long as they present it right. They get rid of the grounded presentation solely. They get rid of the, the you know, the honey I shrunk the roaches covers on Game Informer. When you have an alternative, see, this is the biggest thing that I hear from my Xbox brethren that get mad at me or get mad at anybody else is just telling the truth. The reason why Xbox gets hammered for the kitty cartoony stuff is because that's the overwhelming majority of the stuff that they're putting in your hands right now. PlayStation has that kitty stuff too, but PlayStation on the flip side also has the adult AAA mature theme stuff that they're putting in your hands, all right? And, and heavily appreciated and heavily wanted um, software that they're putting in your hands. So that's why their stuff gets overlooked. If you have an alternative, then you'll get, your stuff will get overlooked too, Xbox. And it looks like that with this show, that's more catered to the hardcore that's gonna get to Series X, they now got an alternative where regardless of inside Xbox is trash as it normally is, people can look at this and say, well, this is our real show. This is what they needed to be doing a while ago. Better late than never though. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they break this down. When it comes down to how they're gonna do each month for all the other stuff, including um, May 7th with the third party stuff and how they're gonna handle the showcase with all of the Xbox uh, first party studios games. That's gonna be hella fight interesting. And if there's weight to this rumor, then I, I think they've checked off enough boxes to where they can say, okay, all right, we, we're in a good place for this fight. You know what I'm saying? But that's it, that, but that's my opinion. And that's it from your boy, MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think, because who cares what I think? Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that said, again, if you like the material, like, shove, uh, like, sub, and share, please. And as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Oh, one last thing. Broadband Bullies is going to be doing a live representation of that inside xbox so it better be the bcs <laughs> at least the showing it is because you know it's gonna be a comical one if not but with that said you all have a wonderful gaming day peace